Hey everybody, welcome back to Gamehead. This week we're looking at the Simpsons game, which is coming out next week, and joining me for this show are three of the writers of the game, Matt, Matt, and Tim, who also happen to write for the TV show. Funny how that works. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Matt. It's good to see you again. Now let's talk about the uh, the game a bit more, and the fact that it, you guys clearly, even though you're writers of you know, a hit comedy TV show... Wait, we write for Family Guy? <laughs> No, no. Family Guy game was last year. This year is the Simpsons game. It parodies a lot of video game cliches from, you know, breaking the wooden crates to, uh, you know, all these other sort of things that gamers really know. How much of that comes from you guys, I mean, Are you hardcore gamers? I stopped playing at Big Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Serious? Well, it was interesting. I mean, you know, we call these things cliches, but you realize it's easy to make fun of them. But all those things develop because you absolutely need them to make a game at all. Right. Like we're making fun of a double jump, but it's sort of just our way of acknowledging that, yeah, you need to have a double jump. Would you go into EA and say, hey, we want this level to be just like this game, or we want you know this level to be just like that game? To a certain extent, I think that there's a there's a lot of parodies of genres, you know, where we try to rather than hit one game really hard, get you know fantasy games as a group, you know, and, right. or uh, you know World War II games. Hey, what's up? It's Tony Hawk here. I'm here to show you some of the new features of our new game, Proving Ground. And when people ask me if I play my own game, the answer is yes. The main cities that are featured here are Baltimore, Philly, and D.C. We have three distinct styles of skaters that you can choose from to give you challenges, but also to help you learn new skills and, and to define what kind of skater you are. So we have the career skater, which is more like the TV star guy, magazine coverage, guy who gets sponsors, and then you have what we call it's a hardcore skater, which is more underground, more street, backyard pools, you know, the guy who's not really skating for the coverage, but still is a well-respected skater in his own right. And then we have what we call the rigger. He's the guy who's out there actually building his own skate spots, making spots that aren't skatable something fun to do. Some of the new features here, well, one of my favorite ones is uh, nail the manual and nail the grab. And basically, you can start the nail the trick mode so that you're controlling the feet with the analog sticks and then once you catch it with your feet you can actually grab it with your hand you can tweak the grab however you want and then just let it go and make it and you can also do the same thing with nail the manual you're, con you're controlling both feet with the analog sticks um, and, and creating new combos in the, in the same light another uh, feature is the video editor so anytime you get a really good trick under your belt here you can add that to your video clips and then you can edit your entire timeline the way you would with normal video editing software and you can share those clips online on Xbox Live as well as your own skate lounge um, which is your pad to to decorate however you want. I usually like to put a tractor right in the middle of my, you know, it's your place. Be sure to check out Proving Ground, we're on every platform so any game console you have, we're on. Go get it. In stores now. But will the game play good? That's the question. That is the question. You can write it. That's like you know, even like you know, the demo came out on Xbox Live Marketplace. I can't even finish the demo. Like it's it's hard. That was a hard level. It's yeah, a hard it's level. A very hard level. You can't get the trap doors open. Everyone's like, I talked to all my friends. They're like, I can, we can't even finish the demo. That's bad. We don't want to finish it. But don't blame you for that. No, do not blame us. You didn't set the difficulty. <laughs> we wanted the game to be did. We, we said, wanted the game to be two things, they, right, Tim? What are the two things? We wanted it to be fun to play and funny to think about. <laughs> that was our mandate. And it is funny to think Definitely about. Think, think, think about, about it now. It's funny to think about how you can't think about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm just yeah. laughing. Yeah, there's a lot of laughing in our heads right now. Yeah. It's funny to think about. Game Trailers recently went on location to Seattle, where we visited with fans and players during the 2007 Grand Final of the World Cyber Games to get their thoughts on this world-class event. I'm having the best time ever. I'm playing games that I haven't played before. It's just a great atmosphere. A lot of beautiful women here. It's been crazy. Uh, every evening we have to practice from at least like 5 to 8 Eastern. Our teamwork has to be on point. We've got multiple strats for every map and from every spawn. It takes a lot of hard work to, to be here. I'm here mostly because I saw Rock Band was going to be here, but now that I'm actually here, there's some pretty cool stuff. So I think I might watch the competition later on tonight. Uh, it, it's been incredible. I, I've never imagined any of this. Like, I just played the game for fun at first, but I've never imagined actually going pro at it, going all over the country, competing in it. I've never imagined any of this. Be sure to tune in to Gamehead's World Cyber Games Grand Final Special, November 9th at 11 p.m. on Spike. Coming up next on Gamehead. So how many good Simpsons games have there? 
four, one, one, one. <laughs> and still to come, we world premiere the first look at a new survival horror game from EA, Dead Space. This week's World Cyber Games coverage is brought to you by Samsung. Stay tuned every Friday night on Spike for Gamehead's coverage of the 2007 World Cyber Games. 